now coming to this uh, continuity or not between the scientific revolution and enlightenment it is very simple we have a debate debate between the two important historians one is peter gay and other is naam bhul jata hu margaret chekam we have peter gay he is a very famous historian of enlightenment usne jo do volumes likhe hai extremely popular hai in academia peter gay ke enlightenment ke volumes he is a propounder of continuity thesis he says jo sawal ne bhi pucha hai the question presumes the point of view of peter gay only that enlightenment is nothing but extension of the framework created by scientific revolution to different areas but we have on the other hand margaret jacob she is also an important she is the propounder of discontinuity this is wo kehti hai nahi so if at all a question is critically analyzed then only you have to go into this debate इस क्वेश्चन में जरूरत नहीं है बट अगर क्रिटिकली पूछे एग्जामिन पूछे तो आपको डिबेट खोलना पड़ेगा वो तो डिबेट क्या है वॉट इज कंटिन्यूटी वी ऑलरेडी सीन जस्ट नाउ वॉट इज डिसकंटिन्यूटी शी सेज दैट तीन चार चीजें हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लुक एट सब्जेक्ट मैटर द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ एनलाइटनमेंट इज मच वाइडर दैन दैट ऑफ साइंटिफिक रिवोल्यूशन कैसे in the earlier era it is only natural world astronomical bodies or something physical outside but ab aap polity society law education economy religion sab ko apply kare ja rahe ho so firstly that domain has expanded jiske liye koi precedence nahi tha pehle inhone kiya the second thing is that the methods the methods that are used by the enlightenment philosophers are not necessarily only restricted to those which are developed by the framework of earlier revolution scientific revolution kaise think of rousseau's state of nature rousseau's social contract kya proof hai iska is it rational completely no is it based on some empirical evidence no to kahan se aaya ye is it based on any scientific revolution ka principle nahi it is his man ki baat so point ye hai ki lots of things that happened in enlightenment did not necessarily use the methods of inquiry developed by scientific revolution ye samjho kuch majorly hai kuch kuch nahi hai ye to ha bilkul you can do that right the third thing is about the role of religion when i used the point secularization there i was again following peter gay when he says that scientific revolution unveiled the veil of mystery from natural phenomenon jaise ki lisbon ka earthquake ho so kai sare natural things you do not need god any more to explain or rationalize matlab religion ka role kam ho gaya religion became a less important thing there was demystification therefore in if you go to next era in the era of enlightenment again you will see the religion is now going on back foot in every domain of life not only physics in polity also society also culture also everywhere it is going on back foot so enlightenment philosophers are not primarily religious oriented they deism leke aate with the scientific revolution scientific religion jisme bhagwan ko na transcend wo transcendental hai but immanent nahi hai kuch karta nahi it is non intervening god so kanun nature ka hi chalta rahega it's like jainism only in a way but the point is what jacob says she says nahi ye aapki baat theek nahi hai lots of enlightenment thinkers were not radical lots of them were actually she goes on both the sides sometimes she says there are some thinkers who are very radical on the other end of spectrum there are many people who are very conservative also bhagwan kabhi mante church ko mante they want reform in other domains but not in religion so there is a religious enlightenment also which is going only for reform and not radical change so itna zaruri nahi hai ki bhai inhone hamla kiya to aap hamle ko aage le ja rahe ho not all thinker or that way so aisi kuch kuch cheeze hai she also says ki enlightenment is more sometimes conservative sometimes it is much sharper break from the tradition on both the sides so 
दीज आर द मेजर थ्री रीजन हमारे लिए काफी इतने रीजन इफ दे आस्क यू की भाई वॉज इट अ कंटिन्यूएशन तो मेजरली येस बट वी हैव द काउंटर पॉइंट ऑल्सो